Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple web map using your Visual Studio Code. That means you need to have your basics of HTML and JavaScript. So how are you going to do this? We have a main instruction document here. So this document explains how to create a simple open layer website map. So things you need, you need the Visual Studio Code installed like this one here. Then you need a Node.js installed because I'm using JavaScript. That means you need a Node.js installed for the server side. That means searching upon searching here, you need Node.js. So for the codes that I'll be running, at least should be more than 14 version, 14 plus. So for my case, it's 18. So you're good to go. Then you need the basics of HTML and JavaScript. So how are you going to do this? That means you need to go to open layers website. So how do you do this? You need to go to your default web browser. For my case, it's Google Chrome. Then search for open, open layers. Okay, so open layers. Sorry for the typo, open layers, just like that. So by click open layers, then you need to go to the first website you see, open layers welcome. So at first it will show you this website, actually the basics, that's all the quick, tutor, quick start tutorials, API docs. So you straight go to the examples here on your right. So by clicking examples, that means you have different contexts with different, I mean, like examples of the open layers. So I'll search because I'm creating a simple map. I'll search for simple map, then press enter or search. So this is the first one you see with HTML. It's a simple one example for a simple map because that's what I'm going to show you for this tutorial. So I'll click this simple map. So what you're going to create is something like this. So you have a map with uh, with a height of 400, 400 points and a zoom in and zoom out so let us look at the code here we need to we need at least to, to know what the code tried to explain so for instance so the main javascript this is import map so you need to have the open layers map.js and that means you need your open layers to be installed in your code that means it shows these are the javascript for main javascript code for interactivity and then you have HTML, which is labeled index. That means this is for structure. So you have the language is English. These are simple. The title will be simple map title. So you can always change this. Then the, the width is 100%. The height is 400 points. Then the most important thing is this division. ID class is map. So that means you also need your package, which is JSON. And the good things about this package is written in VIT. So we'll use VIT. So there are different web module bundlers. So there is VIT, there is parcel. That is webpack. So for our case, we'll use VIT as this example shows here. So let us guess our hands data. Sir. So that means we need two files first. You need to have the main JavaScript file, which is for interactivity, and the index HTML for structure. So I'll go back to my Visual Studio code. Then I'll create one here, here, new file. So I'll start, for instance, with the index.html. So that means I'm converting to an HTML file. You see, it appears here. Then I'm creating another one, new file, which is main dot js a javascript file so i've already created two files here so go back to my google chrome i'll start by copying this code here simple like that going to my visual studio code oh wow i copied in main javascript that means make sure the main javascript you copy it to the main javascript code so click here then paste so this is your code make sure you copy it as it is and it pulls all this information here as if you open layer view to javascript yes cost and mom okay fine then you go back to, again to our, go to our open layer simple map code, then copy the index HTML. So copying it, going back to our Visual Studio code, go here to the index HTML, then paste it here. You see here, we pull all those information. The script, the source, so this is where it pulls that map. Okay, the type module, it pulls from main JavaScript. So because I label the main JavaScript, that means it's main JavaScript. So if it was the other, you could just change here. As I said earlier, you need to have the basics of HTML and JavaScript and the style, the style sheet. Okay, CSS. Yes, yes. So that's it. We have our two codes already. So how are we going to go back to our, this the third one, package JSON? So having this, you need to install the VIT. So getting back to our main instruction document, which is this one, we are done here with here. We have Vision Code, Visual Studio Code installed, the Node.js installed, the basics of HTML and JavaScript. Then we 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 went to our open layer website. So we need to install our VIT. VIT comes from the word French, which means fast. So it is it is a fast webpack module, which is built in SBuild, which is very 
very fast and it uses the HMR or the hot module replacement. So how do we install this? We need to have this code npm. As I said earlier, you need to have Node.js installed. So the long form of this is Node Package Manager create vit at latest. So that means I'll just copy this here, then go to my Visual Studio Code. So in order to install this, you need to have your terminal on. So you need to click on terminal, new terminal. So here, by default, this is where my vit goes actually because I opened the folder here, vit in this folder here. So I'll paste this code here, then press enter. So it will install our vit depending on internet connection. So it'll just go slowly. So it asks you for the project name. So the project name will be simple web map. Press enter the package name. I can keep it that way. So here we are installing it. That means after installing it, it will show on my left here. So clicking enter. So it, it asks you which framework. So there are different frameworks. You can use vanilla, view, react, react. So for my case, I'll use react. But, but how do you browse? Use arrow keys and return to submit. That means enter. So that means I'll go this one because I want to use view or react. For my case, I'll use react. Press enter. It asks me a variant, the language. I'll use JavaScript. Enter. So now it's done. You can see here by expanding this, you have all those necessary packages. So you see here, you have it already. But the dependence, you see here. So you just go back to your code. We are done with the first instruction. We need to go to the second one. Now we need to still open layers because you are using open layers. As I showed you to our code, see here, you need to have open layers installed in your main JavaScript code. So going back here to our Visual Studio code, we need to install open layer. How do we do it? Go back to our main document, npx create open layers app, insert them app folder as template vit. So I'll just select this, copy this, then paste it here. Paste this here, then press enter. So it will install our necessary dependency or open layers. So depending on internet connection, it will just be trying to create all necessary downloads. So you see it goes, so when this progress bar reaches to the end, that means you are done. While here there's some changes on my left, which shows that some progress is being made. So when it finishes, it will show you that it has finished and the progress will be shown respectively. Okay, let us give it some time. It is installing. Okay, yeah, now it's finished. So for my case, there's 44 packages have been added and, and audited in 35 seconds and zero vulnerabilities. So now we're done with installing the open layers. So we go to the last one, which you need to browse into a working directory and then run. That means by browsing, you need to use this command. It is well known that the basics of command prompt, that means change directory. That means you go to that particular directory because I created my folder in this, my app. So I need to browse in this folder, particular folder, my app, so that I can activate the vit here. So that means I'll just go, I'll just go by browsing CD command directory. Then because it's here, inside this then my dash up here that means i'm i'm going to this folder then pressing enter my my path will change now to my app that means from here now i can run now the node package manager run that vit build okay so how do you run it let's go to our main instruction folder npm start node package manager start that means we are activating it so i'll write npm start or you can always copy paste by pressing enter that means it will generate a web link under my local host. So that's it. So the version is 4.04. It uses 884 milliseconds. It is. So the network uses host to expose and press H to show help. So that means in order to follow, you just need to press control and left click. By clicking this follow link, it will open in a default browser. For my case, it's Google Chrome. Just like that. See? Under localhost 5173 here, 5173 here. So that's it. You can zoom in and zoom out by pushing your cursor, or you can use this one. Zoom in, zoom out. So that's it. That's the way of creating a simple web open layer website map using basics of HTML, JavaScript in our favorite free open source open layer website. 
So thank you for watching. I'll be dropping more videos. Make sure you drop a like or a comment for any clarification and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you a lot.